this video is an important one and you need to pay close attention to every detail in this video if not you are going to lose money to some lazy people out there who are ready to dupe you so now let's go and learn how to do the whole thing the right way now so i want to withdraw my money via p2p what do i have to do as far as i'm seeing p2p over here i just have to tap on it and in case you are not seeing p2p over here all that you have to do is to come to the home tab over here once you are on the home tab what you want to do next is to tap on this binance icon at the top once you tap on it it will bring you to this interface and this is where you can locate most of the binance services the ones that are not showing on the home page by default this is where you can access most of them and under the recommendation over here we have the p2p over here but in case you don't have the p2p over here tap on more services and you're going to see a whole lot of services right here but then this is not our focus for now let's go and locate p2p and proceed with our transaction so p2p is actually under trade in case you cannot locate it under the recommendation tab you can see it under trade so p2p i'll have to click on it and this is why i have to show you something now for now this is on buy though in our case we want to sell but i want to show you something over here before i proceed right so i'm going to scroll down all right you can see the rates keep increasing this is under buy the rates keep increasing as you move down the lane right as you move down the rates keep increasing now we have like 16 cities 54 pesos that's if you are in ghana that's going to be the highest rates you can buy usdt currently right and the lowest rate starts from the beginning so the lowest rate apart from this instant you know payment feature that binance is trying to promote that made them to place this advert at the first position now the lowest you can use is or you can buy is 15.7 right now let's go to the sell option so i'm going to tap on the sell over here because i literally want to sell right so what i'm going to do is i I have to pay close attention to the individuals with a verified badge over here all right and if i pay attention to them i have to also look at the amounts that they are willing to sell all right the range this person starts from three thousand to two hundred and fifty thousand, and my money is not within that range so i have to scroll down my money is actually within the range of thousands so one thousand actually so let me scroll down so i see where i can locate one thousand good so there's someone over here and my method of payment or the method i'm using to receive the money is moon and this person right here is having it and the person is being verified with 4111 trades then a completion rate of 98.10 and that's good and the completion time too is 15 minutes and i like that so you see what i'm going to do right now is to go ahead and do transaction with this person right so i'm going to tap on sell so over here all that i have to do is to make sure i input the amount i want to sell so i'm going to tap on all because i want to sell everything now i'm select the payment method over here i'm going to select my momo number which is already added now i have to read the person terms and condition he said no merchant because of the mtn fees yes for past payment states with that agent or subscriber drop correct name if name is different right wait for payment from future m enterprise right so i think i'm okay with whatever this person is stating out there and per what i'm to receive this amount indicating over here but when you go to the next page i'll see exactly what i'm supposed to receive right so i'm going to tap on sell usdt now let's see all right, so I'm supposed to receive this 1,749 Ghana cities from this person. So I'll wait and see what's then will happen next, right? So I'm going to just check the message over here. And based on what he said that for fast transaction, I should let him know if it is agent sim or subscriber or so ever. Yeah, so I'm going to do exactly that right away. So I'll just say subscriber. My message is yet to get delivered. So let's wait for it. So always pay attention to this, right? Do not release crypto before confirming the money. That's the available balance. Make sure you always receive the money into your wallet before you go ahead and confirm or release your crypto to anybody. If not, you are going to lose your hard earned money. You may try to retrieve it, but it may not work out, right? 
I'm I'm doing this video with you know a lot of patience so that you don't fall for any <laughs> unforeseen circumstances or scam. So I'm waiting to see what to happen over here, right? Once the person come online and check out the the order I placed, he will have to make payment and then I will have to confirm it. Alright, so you can see what is happening over here. Okay, so so according to him, the money has been sent to my account. So now let me verify before I do any other thing. Okay, it's been, you know, sent to this account. Now I can go ahead and, you know, confirm. So payment to receive. So I've received. So, so, so let me be sure if it is 1749. 1749. Okay is exactly so i've received that and i have to confirm release over here we have to because of security reasons you have to you have to verify more to let the transaction go through right so yeah that is it i've been able to sell my usdt successfully and yes i use a rate of 15 points i think 99 here that was the rate i saw i sold it at and that's good fast transaction i like that so i'm just going to leave it like that right so basically that is it and i hope you do find this video helpful if you've learned something from it or if you find it helpful kindly go ahead and give a feedback in the comment section and also like this video subscribe for more videos this is gosui and i'll see you in the next video bless up